Hi guys, Tina Gale here, and I thought it'd be fun since I was playing along with Janet's 6x6 six six series to show you some layouts that I've created using 6x6 six six paper pads and kind of some of the thoughts and the different ways that you can use 6x6 six six paper pads. So this is the layout that I just created and shared. So if you're watching this later on, you can back up and watch this process video. So this is a quick layout. This is one of my favorite ways to use six by six paper pads is just using strips in different sizes. You can use them all the same width. You can butt them up together and make a completely straight line, kind of offset them like I did here. So I talk more about that in that process video. So be sure to check that out. And now these are just a few I do have a 6x6 playlist that you can um, check out and see a lot of the videos that I've done. So we're going to start with this one that is two full 6x6 paper sheets. So you can use them just the way they come from the paper pad, layer them up behind photos and do clusters. And there were some comments about multiple photos versus one photo, and I know this is a big topic. So I wanted to kind of speak about that. You can really put as many photos as you want on this. You could push this out a little bit more and add another one, do wallet sizes. This one I did two close-ups of these little ducks on a wallet size printed together, and then I have a four by six. You could also do a couple of three by fours, three or four three by fours on here. Um, that's one of my favorite ways to use multiple photos on layouts. Um, so back to the 6x6. Six six. This is just two sheets of 6x6 six six paper. This is just some scraps up behind here and then lots of embellishments. These little frames were fussy cut from a piece of paper and then just scattered throughout here. So this is one of my favorite layouts and I think a lot of it's just the story that I got to document. My daughter despises ducks because she had a small incident when she was a small child and it's haunted her for life but they seem to be very drawn to her so everywhere we go that there are ducks they find her and I just love this expression and I love getting that story told in my albums so that is a way to use six by six paper pads this is another one that uses six by six in the six by six size so I just have multiple sheets there's three looks like three sheets of six by six and you just messy stack them and then this one back here is cut down a little bit you know narrower but then it's cut apart and pulled so that i can draw this design up so that i have a long design on this side of the page so don't be afraid or don't forget to cut those apart and you can really make them look more than just six by six paper pads. Um, so that's another way to use it in the full size. Now this is taking the six by six. So this yellow piece back here is a full six by six. And then I just cut smaller pieces. So the way I went about this particular layout is I took my photo, it's about a four by four and it's matted. And I took this pink paper and I just laid it on it and cut it a little bit larger. So there's a small border up here and a larger one down here, kind of a little bit like a Polaroid. And then I took this piece of paper with the butterflies, laid all of this on top of it and decided how much I wanted over here. So again, it's the same as this. I have a small strip over here and a little bit wider strip on this side. So I just alternated it so that I have all those messy layers. And then this was a small strip cut apart pulled out so that I could have a little bit of a shelf going on back here. I also have this little tucked in piece of paper here and here. So this is another six by six, but I cut it apart so I could have a piece up here and a piece coming down here. So this is another design that I love to use, just messy stacks of paper. And then I used um, a white cardstock and matted it on that and did a lot of machine stitching. So another way to just I'm gonna start from full six by six and just altering more and more and more and getting smaller so this is another one that uses six by six paper but I cut it down and apart so that I could have a wide design up here so this piece of paper only sticks out up here this plaid comes over here 
but then I cut it and I have a piece over here and I actually have a piece tucking because I needed something to fill out this kind of dead space down here. So I just cut it up and stuck it around. This is a chipboard frame and you can see it wasn't wide enough so I cut it over here and I actually moved it down so that I have a little bit touching here to bring these two pieces of paper together. So this edge is over here and this one's down here. And then tucking embellishments and putting a large embellishment over the top covered up where I cut all that and it wasn't meeting. I also love to either mat my layouts like this or at least have a frame on the top or the bottom, something to kind of close it in. So with six by six, it's not gonna reach all the way across. So you have a couple of options. This one is washi tape, and I just tore the edge and put part of it down here, and I put the part that I tore off up here. It's a little bit narrower strip, so that I could do some decoration hanging from it, and then also stacked on top, I could make a little scene. And then of course, this washi tape down here to kind of tie it together. So that's one option. I'll show you another one on another layout coming up. And I'm sorry for the glare, these were in albums and I just wanted to pull out a few to show you, but I didn't wanna take them out of the album, the sleeve protectors, because I don't wanna damage my layouts. So this is one that's actually from the SG 6x6 class, where you're taking three by six strips, cutting a banner and putting it, uh, putting it across the page. And then I just filled it up with photos up here and then a larger one here and cut down some of the ones with animals just came in on the animals because I had so many and there's one over here clustered in with the title so this is an earlier layout that I did and it mainly uses stamping and um, yeah just just mainly stamping to embellish and with some letter stickers but I got a ton of lay or a ton of photos on here. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven photos on that page. So that's another great design. So now we're going to really alter those six by six. So on this one, I used a circle punch, several different circle punches. So I have large ones down to smaller, and I just clustered them all together over you know set them on top of each other to create a background so this is the same thing of layering stacks of paper except for now it's stacks of circles or you could do hexagons or stars or hearts or you know whatever shape that you have and I just did some watercolor messy painting on the back so that I'd have something to ground my design on and I just cut little strips of paper to do in the corners so kind of the own little photo corners there lots of embellishments so this is another one of my favorite layouts that I've done and then this one is a perfect design and I'm going to show you two different designs that I did of, of doing like this fan design this one's in a circle so it's like a pie chart this is perfect for six by six pattern papers because the prints are smaller and it's a great way to use lots of really busy pattern paper without it being too busy. So I love doing a design like this. So I just cut little pie shapes, put them together and created this. And then up here, you just take your patterned paper and you butt it together to create the 12 by 12 strip. So I have two different ones that I've done that with. And here's the other one. It's the same design, the pie shapes, only I just did it in like a sun, sun ray up at the top of the page. Again, this is just a strip of pattern paper and it's cut and butted together. And then you can take little strips of paper. This is where your branding strips, you could use the six by six pattern papers. You could use the border stickers, washi tape, anything like that cut them in varying widths and lengths, and then just messy stack them along the bottom of the page for a border here. And then I just also stitched over the top of them. So that's another fun way to use six by six paper pads. This is another design that I think is very um, similar to one that's in the six by six class. So it's using them cut into three by four 
sizes and then these are two inch strips with banner cuts at the bottom just to make a banner across the top and then you can see here you can really see where I butted these together where they're six inches but because of this busy design and this one is just a repeating little white hashtag mark you really cannot even notice that unless it's really drawn to your attention so this is another fun way to just make a background of a lot of busy, fun papers that you would have a hard time using on their own. Um, it really creates a great background. And again, the people that are questioning about one photo on a page, I know most of these are one photo, but that's all I had. So um, try to get over that stigma that you have to use all the photos or you or you can't you know it's not why do you just do one photo well sometimes that's all you have to tell the story and you want to tell the story so that's the way this is this is another one that's from the sg class so this is three by three squares and it's just simply lined up along the bottom take your photos across the top of course they do a lot of four by six these are older photos before four by six these were like three by fives so i just trimmed them down to where they would fit on the page i cropped in a few of them just for close-ups because all of these are basically the same thing it's just them opening different presents on christmas I filled in with a three by four card just to break it up because this can get very busy. If I had another photo up here, your eye would kind of get lost and you wouldn't really be taking in all of the photos. So I like breaking it up with something and then just a little flare on the top. It's also great because of the small designs, you can make little images. So these are little trees that are made from the patterned paper. And then you'll also see here where I just border punched this but then I just butted it up together and kind of matched it so it's really not noticeable that you're not using a 12 inch sheet of paper so that's another easy way to do it this one is kind of the same design you'll see it's three three by three blocks this time it's just at the top of the page and they're cut into strips so you would cut your three by three cards cut them into three strips and then just mix them up so that you kind of make these quilt blocks with the different colors so this is another way to use up really busy patterned papers that would be hard to use that just really goes good together. I do recommend using something that's um, like I wouldn't use a lot of multicolored papers. I would keep them tone on tone and keep them very close to the same color family. So green and blue sit side by side. So that's another way that it just kind of flows into each other and it's not too jarring on the eye. But again, just lined up photos. So I have six photos on this page. And that was probably all I had too. Um, but you can get a lot of photos on here. Another really quick design. You can dress this up by stitching on it, You know, adding more embellishments. These layouts were done several years ago, so they don't have quite as much embellishing as I do now. This one I wanted to point out, I just faux stitched around each one with a brown marker so that gives a little bit more detail so don't forget just faux stitching machine stitching hand stitching lots of ways to embellish your pages so that's a look at just some of the six by six pages that i've done over the years i hope you enjoyed that get some inspiration of different ways that you can use your six by six paper pads and I would love to see them. So if you're creating along with the 6x6 series or you're just kind of finding this and getting some ideas, link up what you've got going with your Facebook page, Instagram, something like that. I would love to see what you're creating with your 6x6 paper pads. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you were inspired. And I will be back soon with another process video. Thanks for watching.